gosh, it's really raining. And the sun is out. Okay, that sucks. Hey, y'all. Good morning. I can't really see all these lids. are so dark, but let me take them off. It ain't even morning. It is 1 o'clock. Um, yeah, it's 1 o'clock. I just dropped the kids off at the movies. I think they're going to go They gonna go see Sonic. And I just thought about it. I gave them my credit card to get some um, snacks and stuff. I hope they don't go ham on my shit. I hope they do not go ham on the credit card sip because y'all know the movies is just fresh. What the heck? Like they like it's this is matinee prices I, right now. It's one o'clock and the tickets was the three of them. The tickets came up to like sixty dollars. Why? What's really going on? But yeah, I'm on my way to go pick my shoes up because I, I don't know if I told y'all did I say this in the vlog before I bought these shoes a while ago and the heel on them is like stupid high like I wore them in the vlog before this which is for Dominique's birthday but I didn't even get to take a picture because that's how bad they hurt my feet like it was painful it was like I don't know what it was about the left leg the left leg I was walking like a baby chicken I was walking like a baby chicken and I ain't like that. So I went to go get that heel cut down. So I got to go pick those shoes up now because we're supposed to be going out tonight. A little date night situation in DC. So, and I want to wear those. I want to wear those shoes. So yeah. I got this cute little shirt to go with it. But I don't know what kind of bottoms I'm going to wear. I might need to run in the mall and see. I might need to run in the mall and see what kind of bottoms I can wear with it. Because I don't think I want to wear like just no denim jeans. I think I want to wear like... I'll show y'all the shirt. I'll show y'all the shirt. I think I want to wear some cute little... I don't know. I don't know. I figured it out. But yeah, the place that we're going to is called, I think it's called Creole on the 14th, 14th on the Creole, something like that. I don't know, but it's in DC and this will be our first time going there. We saw it on TikTok, of course. So we're going to try that out. It's not a super fancy place, but the food look good and yeah, I just don't want to be overdressed, you know, because I did have a dress that I want to wear, but I'm like, is this too dressy for this place? I don't know. But yeah. When I was dropping them off, like, I realized, like, I'm really a parent now. Like, I'm a whole mother. That's crazy. Because it's like, I remember when my mother and my mother friends and my friends' mothers used to drop us off at the movies and come pick us up and all that. And it's like, that's me now. Dropping the kids off at the movies, giving them my credit card. They go blow a bag with some snacks. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. See, yesterday was Friday. I didn't do nothing I said I was going to do yesterday. I said, oh, I was going to go to Target. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to Marshalls. I ain't do none of that. Girl. Well, I'm going to try to do it today, though. So, I got to go in town to get this stuff. Get my shoes. And I think it's basically it. I do want to go to the market today. So, I can cook for tomorrow. I do want to go to the market today. I don't know if I'm had time, but I'm definitely going to go to Target and I'm going to go to Marshalls. Yeah, because I need to go. But if I go to Marshalls, I might not need to go to Target. Mm, I'll figure that out. I do want to go to Ulta though. Damn, I forgot. Oh, I want to go to Ulta. I really need to go to Morphe, but um, Alta has Morphe products, so I'll just go to Alta and just, you know. Damn, I want to go to Sephora too. I might just say that for tomorrow. I don't know. Our reservations are at seven thirty. It's one right now. I'm talking about doing all this stuff. I had to. I should have got up earlier and did something. But anyway, when I let me tell you, when I got up, I did not even feel like putting a wig on. Like to leave out the house. I didn't. Do y'all ever get like that? Like to the wig wearers, of course. 
um it just be like i don't feel like nothing on my head you need to go because you're light green they're going yeah there you go um i don't want to put nothing on my head i just didn't feel like it i don't i really want some braids but i don't want to sit i really wish we could drop our head off and just come pick it up but if I do get some braids, it's going to be some knotless braids. But I don't think they're going to be that small, honestly. Because I don't... The life expectancy on them knotless braids ain't right. I'd be damned if I'm going to sit for six hours. Six plus hours. And they only last for four weeks. Not even four weeks. And they only last for three because they start getting fuzzy after a while y'all know i ain't got that much hair no more so i don't know but i be tired of having something on stuff on my head as soon as i get in the house i take this off like if y'all when i'm recording in the house that's only for camera purposes because guess guess what i take this thing right on off i ain't got time i don't like to be restricted i didn't even want to put no clothes on today I can't wait till it get hot to where I, so I can just throw on like some bullshit and just go out the house. Like some some slides, a maxi dress throw it on, just something quick to just throw on and just I hate being restricted. I don't like shoes. Don't like shoes. Cause why? For what? Why are my feet closed then? I like to breathe, stretch, shake, let it go. But um I want to try this lotion. This this damn group on Facebook gonna get me in trouble. But it's this Summer Fridays lotion. It's from Sephora. They said it smells so good, and it's just it's just the packaging for me, as well. Because can y'all see that? I want to go. I want to go and smell it. I do want to go and smell it. But I don't know if I'm gonna have time to be sitting around here playing all these games, doing all this stuff today. We'll see. Okay, guys. All right, y'all. So I just left the shoe place to get my, from getting my shoes cut down, and these are the shoe. I forgot to show y'all, show it to y'all. This is the shoe. It's a cute. Y'all gotta see it on my feet, girl. Mm. So yeah, I got the heel cut down. Like this is still pretty much a high heel to me. I don't know if it's pretty high to y'all, but it's it's pretty high. So imagine how high it was. I got an inch cut off of this. I want to say this was like probably like six inches. And I have never had an issue with the heel like that. But for some reason, these, these shoes right here, oh my gosh. They hurt my feet so bad. And my mother has the same ones. I think she got them in. She got them in another color. She, she has them in another color. I think it might be black. I think she might got them in black. And she the one who told me. She was like, them shoes hurt. And I thought she was just being dramatic. I haven't talked right on up because she just texted me. I thought she was being dramatic, but no, she was like, um, them shoes hurt. She was like, that heel was high. So, once again, me being hard headed and not paying her no mind, thinking she was exaggerating. No, them heels is high. So, I told her I was getting cut down because I couldn't walk in them when I tried to wear them. She was like, oh, I wore them, and you know, it, it, wound up, it felt alright to me. After a while, I'm like, I ain't giving it another chance because those shoes hurt my feet and they're so cute though like i don't want them to be i didn't want it to be at a point to where you know i can't wear them because i love them this is a nice shoe like look at this color it's the color for me and it's gonna go nice with my um with my shirt tonight but the thing about it is i think the pants that i'm going to wear i'm i don't i'm trying not to stop in them all but i think the pants that i'm going to wear are like bell bottoms so you probably won't even be able to really see the shoe, which sucks. Now that's like I can find some straight legs that same light denim color. Then that would be good. Or if I have some, do I have some? I gotta check. But yeah, these are the shoes I'm gonna wear. And I'm gonna try these heels on when I get in the house to see if I can feel the difference because <laughs> that heel before was a no-go. Oh, look at her hair. I like the kids that, um, not even kids, but I like people that dress like different. You know what I mean? I just like, 
that's just different with their style like she just had half of her head pink and the other half was black but it looked pretty and it fits her because that's her style i couldn't get away with this shit but she looked cute i like that love that for her whoever she was walking down the street but um <clears throat> yeah i dropped my blush i dropped i dropped my blush on the ground and um why it was in my purse, I have no clue why the blush was in my purse. But I dropped my Milani blush and I really don't. <sighs> I'm pissed. I'm pissed about me dropping it, but. So I'm gonna go to Ulta and get me some more and make myself feel better. Damn, I wanna go to Sephora so bad. But it's this brush that I wanna get. Um, I seen this girl on TikTok. She was doing her makeup and she had this brush that she was like using to contour her cheeks and stuff and i'm like bet say less i'm not sure if it was an ulta brush because i don't think she named the brush but i mean i'm not sure if it was like a morphe brush but i'm sure i could find something similar to it it was like a kind of like a painter's brush almost and she used it like chisel out her cheekbones i'm trying to do something about this round face girl <laughs> my face always been fat though but anyway my mother she just texted me telling me she um tried the restaurant i told her about talking about all that food was good she had another bar right now uh excuse me you somebody's grandmother bar hopping for brunch on a saturday love that for her <laughs> don't get your granddaughter because she irky if anybody has any tips on how to get your child out of the bed with you like it's ridiculous like why is this calling my ass i'm not gonna go no faster so you can go around but um yeah winter she's like super clingy i mean she's always been like that but it's like it's bad now like she won't even get out the bed she won't sleep in her own room i'm not understanding well, I can understand because she never really slept in her own bed. She always slept in the bed with us. Always. That's horrible. I know I shouldn't have started it, but hey, it is what it is. I do get her to, even if we do get her to like go to sleep in her room, if she would get her to fall asleep, we would have to lay in there with her until she falls asleep. And then we sneak out in the middle of the night. But even still, once she realizes we're gone, she gets up and she comes in the room. And I don't like that because she sleeps too wild. Like She's too big now. She's too big. She too big. Uh uh. Any tips or tricks or whatever? Not not preferably not tricks, cause she ain't with the bullshit. Like she ain't dumb. <laughs> but help, please send help. I just don't understand. I don't get it. I don't recommend people putting their babies in the bed with them, cause they turn into five year olds who don't want to get out. They don't to leave. This is what I need. I decided to come with TJ Maxx. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to this.
Um, it's like beauty blenders, but it's not really beauty blenders. It's $8. It's the packaging. Once again, the packaging wins. I don't think I'm going to get it, though, because... I don't know. I like to be able to feel it. To feel the, you know, texture of it. They're probably hard. They might not even blend it. So, yeah. I'll pass on that. Angle highlighting brush by Becca. How much is this one? Eight dollars. It would be nice if I could see it. See, that's funny. Y'all might need these. Are these ceramic? All right, y'all. So, I wound up going to TJ Maxx. Because it was right here. <laughs> they didn't have my dad on deodorant. So, now, I... I can even go to... I can either go to... Target, which I really don't want to do because Target is so negative. Like, I'm not trying to come out and spend an arm and a leg and a thigh. Because you know when you go in the Target, you can never just go in there and get what you're supposed to get and leave back out. Or I can go to... Marshalls, which I know they have that deodorant at Marshalls, which for like two dollars cheaper, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna go to Target. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna have to pray about it. And um, yeah. I had to um stop recording in, in Target because I mean uh. TJ Maxx because the public was public and once again like I don't like going out on the weekend 
like to stores and stuff like this like i don't like doing it i really don't because everything is just so everything and everywhere is so crowded and you can't do what you came to do because the public is out publicing. Like, you can't get in the aisle. You can't take your time. Look at nothing. There's people reaching their arms all across you. They wondering when you're going to get out the way. I ain't got time. So, yeah. Honestly, this might be a quick target run because the parking lot is lit. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the shirt that I got. This shirt I was telling y'all about that would go with my shoes. Um, I didn't get a chance to run to the store because, yeah, I had to go pick the kids up. But anyway, I think I'm gonna wear them with these jeans, and these are like some wide leg jeans with like, um, little rips in the leg, whatever, whatever. I think I'm gonna wear them. Uh, not sure. But anyway, let me show y'all what I got from. Let me show you what I got from TJ Maxx. All right, so I did wind up getting these hot tools, this curling iron. This is a one fourth inch barrel, and this was only twenty four ninety nine. So again, I told you I got the Becca brush, and this is a angle highlighting brush. Let me take it out and show y'all. So cute! It's real full and fluffy, and that's it. Let me see if it's a number on it. Nope, it ain't no number on the brush. But yeah, got that brush, and I got this little headband a spy headband for when i do like facials or if i'm doing my makeup to pull my hair out of my face and this was only 3.99 oh yeah and this backup brush was eight dollars then i got this bamboo paddle brush for my hair because i needed a big one and the aesthetics was real cute you know i paid an extra couple of dollars just for the aesthetic say it but this was 5.99 then I went to Target and then I got this Dr. Teal's um, Melatonin Sleep Soak. And I got that for these, the nights that you can't sleep, you know, take a little bath, soak, whatever, whatever. And went to Target, didn't get the deodorant because, girl, the deodorant was $10 for what? When I can clearly go into Marsh, not Mar, yeah, I can go to Marshall's and get it for $5.99 or even $4.99. But anyway. Um, I'll get that another date, but I went into Target and I left with, um, just this concealer. This is a hydrating camo concealer by e.l.f. And this is in the shade medium beige. Can y'all see that? Please focus. Please focus. There we go. Medium beige. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is new or not, but I mean, I've got to give it a try because it looks cute and then it has that um that big doe foot applicator so yeah um interested to try to see how this work but yeah that's that no i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear this wig y'all i might try to get a curlers to go and curl it and see how it look but i'm really feeling like my other wig the um deep wave one will look cute with this whole outfit situation sorry that y'all hear that um what the thing called? Mm, girl, look at my lips dry. <laughs> Sorry that y'all hear that. Uh, not the fire extinguisher. What is it? Smoke detector. You gotta get a battery for it.
Okay, so hey y'all, I never came back yesterday. Actually, I didn't even really vlog inside of the restaurant because we were so annoyed. Okay, first of all, first of all, the food took forever. Let's start there. They didn't even bring out all the food. Anyway, she always running here when she hear me talking. But, um, yeah, the food took forever to come out. Didn't understand that. And then when it did come out, it came out like it wasn't hot. And then all the food didn't come out together, which was very irritating. Like we got the, for the appetizer, I got, what did I get? Something like some sort of shrimp and some sauce with some little, uh, with some bread. That was good, but it wasn't hot. We got crab claws. That wasn't hot. We got, um, what else did we get? For appetizer. I got the pasta. Oh, and the place is called Creole 14. 14th on Creole. Something like that. But it's in D.C. Um, yeah, so I had got the, like, the no, the pasta. It was like a loaded, a loaded pasta. Should I call it a loaded pasta? I don't know. Either way, it had, like, crab meat in it, shrimp, lobster. But it had, like, whole lobster on the pasta. And I'm like, and then they gave you a little tool to crack the lobster leg, the lobster. Why do I want to crack open the lobster that's inside of my pasta? Why couldn't y'all just give me the the lobster meat inside of there already? Why would, it's not a seafood boil. Why would I, someone who ordered pasta, seafood pasta, want to crack my own meat <laughs> on top of the pasta that's already covered in pasta sauce and everything get my hands all dirty if i wanted a seafood boy i would have asked for one i just didn't understand that but that was piping hot though <laughs> it was more pot it was more of the lobster on top of the pasta than it was actual pasta which really irritated me um he got the lamb chops which was good but it wasn't that hot they ran out of mashed potatoes Duh. I think we got the seafood mac that was good too and that was hot and we got some plantains which was not hot I'm not understanding I'm not understanding let me find the name so I get the name right for y'all because I'm I know I'm butchering the name um oh it's called Creole on 14th yeah it's called Creole on 14th so yeah I mean the food was good don't get did you don't get me wrong the food was good, but it just, it didn't all come out together. It wasn't hot. It just wasn't. Um, would I go back? I probably would go back. I know they had brunch, so I probably would go back and try the brunch. But other than that, it wasn't all that. I mean, other than that, it was okay. But, um, yeah, so that was that. The drink I had was too strong. Like, if I drink something, which I is rare that I'll drink... If I do try to drink something, it has to be like real sweet and it has to like not taste like liquor because I don't like the taste of liquor. It's it's disgusting to me. So I end up giving him my drink because it was too strong for me. Um and I got like I took it back I got some um it was like a New Orleans pasta. No, New Orleans punch. It was like some sort of fruit punch. But it tastes like lemonade and like fruit punch mix. But it was good though. So yeah. It was lit in there. It was a nice vibe. Everybody was dressed up. It was nice. But yeah. The food took forever to come out. And it was. It wasn't hot. But the food was good though. So yeah. Oh yeah. And then we was rushing yesterday because. I was ready. He wasn't ready. He came in the house and laid down when he should have got up and took a shower. And the place is like over an hour from here. So, I think it was like an hour and ten minutes. So, yeah, we got there a little late, but they still sat us, which was nice. Appreciate them. Shout out to y'all for that. So, I didn't get a chance to record because I was driving. 
he was so drunk that he couldn't drive back. So I didn't get a chance to record, take pictures, do anything because I was a designated driver and I ain't like that. I didn't get to show y'all my outfit, nothing, because we had to rush out of here. That's sad, ain't it? I might put that shit on a day and take a picture. I ain't even gonna hold you. Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Friday. Went to today. Went to still on vacation. I mean, not vacation, child. Vacation. Come on. Wait, are your tennis downstairs? Went to still on spring break, child. She been driving me crazy. She been on spring break since last Wednesday. I wish everybody would get in, uh, what is it called? Compliance. When it comes to uh, cutting grass and all that. Because every day, every day, every day though. But yeah, anyway, um, we got up early this morning and we went to the market. Which, let me move away from this window. Come on, just strap it on, please. Wrong foot. We got up early this morning and went to the market because we didn't have any milk. We all been up since like 5, 30, 6 o'clock for no apparent reason. But yeah, we're going to go to the playground so she can get some of this, wear some of this energy off. I'm going to come back and make her some lunch and then we can take a nap. Yeah, so that's life for me right now. Um, it's 11.43. We'll probably stay out there for like an hour. And then bring it on in, honey. Because, oh, I need to take my allergy medicine. Damn, I know I'm going to be miserable. Hold on. Let me get the allergy medicine. Say that we're doing the most. Can you take a picture of the house? I'm about to take this good old Claritin D. Mom, can you take Do you care how I have internet at the program? Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. So we back from the. My camera is sliding. Might be a little crooked, but we back from the playground and we went to the market. I got a spicy roll, a spicy shrimp roll. Enough is enough. It's time to take a nap. So today is Monday, um, Easter Monday. I hope everybody had a happy Easter. Winter, did you have a happy Easter, baby? You had a happy Easter? Yeah. You had fun? Yeah. Where you go? To, 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 to take a picture with the Easter money. And where did you go? To Lola House. Where we go yesterday? Lola House and where we go? Urban. Yes. Yes. We went to Lola's house and we went to Urban Air. So that was our Easter. Um, right now, well, winter's on spring break, and right now she's with me because I have an eye appointment. Lucky me. Which is crazy because I made this appointment like last month. Over a month ago. Yeah, this is the next appointment that they had, which was crazy. And it's like the next one they had was in May. So it's like I, I had to come to this one. So I got to take my little baby with me. You know? Goo -goo -ga -ga. No goo goo gaga. -ga. You said baby. Are you my You my baby. You my little baby. Oh my gosh, when I get back in the house, I'm gonna need to do like a facial and to stain my face because I don't know what's going on. My skin is so dry, honey. Mama don't like that. What's going on? Why are people trying me this morning? It's 11.15, my appointment is for 11.15. And 
we 20 minutes away, so we doing good. We're gonna get there at 11 for Woody. Yeah, let me focus on this road because these people tripping. Yes, we're at the eye doctors right now. <laughs> Waiting to be seen because these glasses have had it. Y'all can't see, but they're so scratched up. Like, it's horrible. So, I already ordered me some frames. Just some regular frames, but I just need the new glasses prescription. So, yeah. Um, yeah. My mini me is over there getting on my nerves, talking my head off. We're gonna go to IHOP after this if she behaves. So hopefully she behaves.